hey you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video my name is anitra welcome so how y'all doing it is like what time is it almost 1 30 i'm barely about to eat because i've been doing stuff all morning long let me show you what i'm eating because i am about to make some real food but i have to thaw the meat out so until that's ready this is what i'm working with So I'm having some edamame. I warmed it up in the um, microwave, put some salt on it, and hold back. Um, it's getting out of the way. And this is six points or six bites. So this is what I'm starting my day with. Hopefully, hopefully this this uh. Well, it shouldn't. I'm, I'm throwing out some shrimp. That don't take long. So hopefully... And why does it look so... Uh, better. Hopefully that helped because it was kind of like blurry. Um, so I'm throwing out some shrimp. It don't take long. So I'm going to eat that with some... I don't know. I need, to, I need to pick up like little items from the store. But I'm trying not to continue to keep going to the store. But I honestly need to go pick up a couple of items so yeah but i'm still kind of working so i just wanted to come in and show you what i was eating starting my day off with and i will be back i'm just cleaning these shrimp right now i got a whole bag i need to get them from aldi it's the jumbo no are they jumbo yeah jumbo raw shrimp divane shell tail on and easy peel well the thing is it comes like this right I don't even know if you could see so it comes like that but why they don't take that part out so I always go under pull it out rinse it off I know some people don't like shrimp because they call it the what do they call it the roach the roach of the sea roach of the sea like all shelled fish is I like it <laughs> I love shrimp. I love shrimp. So, but I like to clean it thoroughly too. Like, just because it's Sadie Vane, don't mm -mm. like see this part right here. Is a no for me. So I'm cleaning this bag and then I'm gonna saute it up and um, putting that stuff in the wrong. Putting this stuff in the wrong um, things. So yeah, I like to just go in and clean it to make sure. So what's this track under here? Is this like there? What's, what? If they took the vein out, what is this part? This part underneath? I'm confused. Either way, I want it there, so let's clean. The crazy part about it is, you know, you clean the shrimp and then once you clean it and cook it down, it's not even much of anything. So I usually just cook the whole bag because my son might be eating this, eating that as well. And it's definitely going to be gone once he, once he eats some. So I just cook the whole bag. It's just a little tedious to, to clean, you know. Making this shrimp, I have in there a little butter. You see that bag, and it, it, it's not even a lot in there. But butter, um, some garlic, and I seasoned it. And then I made a like an Alfredo sauce. But the thing is, this I tried to make it for one, and <laughs> I'm kind of quite work, but it's gonna taste good because I seasoned it up. So that's why it's kind of dark because I put a lot of seasoning in it. But <laughs> That's that. In the Alfredo sauce, I made the Alfredo sauce to go, uh, to go on it. So I put a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. I put a serving of this Parmesan, an ounce of this to make um, the Alfredo. And I just put the seasoning in it. And then I'm gonna saute up some palmini noodles right here. I'm gonna saute these up. I got these from Trader Joe's, as you can see. Um, 
I'm gonna have all of it because it doesn't make that much of a stick. How many servings does it say? It says three servings, but once you um once you cook it, it's like I can eat that whole thing. Okay, so I am about to saute up these noodles and put them in this sauce. Ouch! <laughs> Hurt myself with these nails. I you know, I always look at the, I always look at expiration days before I start. Okay, it's good. Okay, so all I do is I take it off. I drain a little bit of water that's in there. It's not a lot. It doesn't even say to drain it, but listen, I got to. So I put it all in there, break it up. It's going to be lightly sauced because I didn't make a lot of that sauce. Because it's heavy points because heavy whipping cream, cheese, cream cheese, butter. Come on now. Come on. I was like, oh no. So I'm just going to saute this up in this sauce. And when it gets sauteed up enough, I'll add, I'll take out a portion and put it on my plate with my shrimp. It's cooking. Turn it up. Okay, so it is cooking. But look at right now, it just looks like noodles with sauce. That's crazy. All these low carb alternatives they have these days. I never even knew of a of a whatever this vegetable is before. What is this called? It's called hearts of palm. I don't know what a hearts of palm is. What does it actually look like? Let's, let's look. Let's see what it looks like. It's hot in here. Hold on. It's hot in here. So, I am drinking a serving of this Green Goddess. And I told you guys that I'm not counting juice, smoothies. If it has a fruit or a vegetable, and I don't think anything else is in here. Well, let me see. Oh, I can't see. Pineapple juice, apple juice, mango juice, cucumber juice. Interesting. Banana puree, mm, kiwi, spirulina, artichoke. Really? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna get grossed out. Okay, so it's almost done. I wish I had some garlic bread because that's what I really want. Truth be told, hearts. Of palm. What do you look like? Let me see what you look like. So it looks like um sugar cane. Like the the actual, you know, the the, the way it comes. It looks like sugar cane. Interesting. So if it comes cylinder like that, how do they make the lasagna version of it? They have a lasagna version of that, um, of this heart to palm, but not the, not the Trader Joe's version. But they have like another brand. They sell it like sprouts or whatnot. And it comes in lasagna version too. But that, unless they cut it, I don't know. I mean, not, cause you know, everything is processed these days. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing is real. Everything's processed. So let me not think about it too much. Now let's scan this heart to palm. I'm, I doubt that it's any points. Oh, let me um, track my Alfredo real quick. I'm going to put it for mm, I'll put it for lunch. Now, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh, wow. It's, it, it has points. I thought this is a vegetable. Yeah. Wait, what is it? Well, I guess it's edamame had points. So this is three servings. I'm eating one serving. I'm eating three servings. Child, this, this little meal gonna be lots of points. Well, that's a mess. All right. I ain't nothing much of anything today. So let me get my shrimp in here. Actually, let me get my, um, let me weigh it out. Let's see what I'm going to have. You guys, if you do Weight Watchers out there, do you um, do you weigh and measure your food, or do you just do whatever? 
My son gonna be like, what's left for me? I'm gonna put all four ounces in this shrimp. I mean, this noodles. Or no, you don't eat shrimp. You don't eat shrimp, baby. You don't eat no shrimp. So stop looking around. Okay. One for the shrimp. Let me see what I got. Who texted me? Okay, shrimp. Boom. Now, let me see what my Alfredo looking like. And... <laughs> Head of palm eight, six, hearts of palm six, shrimp, butter, butter. How the hell I didn't use all my damn points? Wait, trash that. I don't need that. Why would it, why? I'm tracking butter, right? Why would it automatically go to one cup of butter? Like, who's, <laughs> come on now. Interesting. It literally goes straight to cups. Who's eating a cup of butter? Heavy, a point heavy. A point heavy meal. That's what I want to say. It's a point heavy meal. And I'm going to eat every last bit of this. Let me put it in my plate. On my plate. It looks like a lot though. You guys, when I, after I cook, I'll be having to clean. Like, I don't know. I just like that. I used to have to clean the dishes before, but I stopped doing that because then your food gets cold. So now I only just clean the counters down. I don't like actually clean the whole um, kitchen now because I used to be cleaning it up before I would eat. I just don't like to see the, the dishes. Okay, well, let me wash my hands and then I might eat. Okay, so here is the palm, palmini noodles, shrimp, Alfredo sauce. And so I came up with, this is a point heavy, like I said, 20 points or bites. 11 for the Alfredo, hearts of palm, six because it's three servings in the box. I mean, no box. Shrimp is one. I put um, a little butter, so I just counted it for a teaspoon. And so 20 total. And then I had my edamame. And that leaves me with nine left. So I can finesse that. Nine for the day. I can definitely finesse that. It's dinner time. I told you I must finesse this thing. So I had to go to Aldi real quick because. Oh my God, because I want to eat. These, but I only eat tuna if it's mixed in avocado. I will not eat it any other way because I don't like mayonnaise or mustard or any of the other stuff, relish and all that nasty stuff. That's not my thing. So if it's mixed in avocado, I'll eat it. I'm gonna have this with some crackers. So I'm listening to pop. No, I'm not listening to podcast. I'm listening to Clubhouse, and they are talking about women leading with their the, the title is called leading with your pussy and they're talking about women that lead with their puss or lead with their sexuality and I'm very intrigued because listen naturally that's just what I do and I don't I, I'm trying to figure out how to get out of it because what do men do so crazy because she's just pretty much saying that my mind is literally blowing you guys because I have literally, I have sat and thought about like, okay, how can I not do this? And for me, it's not that I'm leading with my, it's not like I'm doing it purposely, but I know that that's what, like, that's what gets to me. So I play up on it, you know, and I'm not playing on how smart I am or how much, how great my conversation is. I'm playing on all of this body, yaddy, yaddy. Hmm, I need to get away. Fix it, fix it, Lord. Measure and peace, and not using it as a way to inflict pain or revenge. Anyone else want to kind of speak to this? Crazy, right? <sighs> I'm learning so much. It's crazy. And I, just, I mean, I keep going back to that foundation. She said something earlier, and I almost wanted to cry. Y'all already know I be crying. 
is yeah. the first step in being able to, as you engage Let's in make this action, it's like you first have to know yourself inside and out. You first have to love yourself inside and out before you invite any other energy in the space. You know what? Let me tell you guys something real quick. You have to know yourself inside. So I got out of a relationship. Um in that experience. Like the end of last year, totally honest and say this is the first time I've been without a man in a very long time because what I do is I jump man. Okay, you don't want to be bothered? Let me go on over here. Man, I don't give myself any breaks. Any breaks. I just go from man to man to man to man to man to man. Not to try to sound hoish. It's not about being a ho, it's just the honest of damn God. You know it is what it is. I just feel like I don't like I don't like being single. It's not fun. It's not fun. And to my to my kids as well. Don't be afraid to cut your losses. See that's my thing. If it's not working, then don't force it. It's okay. You have the right to say, this is not working for me. You don't train or retrain grown people. Don't don't frustrate yourself. Those of you that have kids to get you to either dummy down. It is. Lower your standards. Yep. Or become easier to manipulate because we do not like to hear that we are intimidating sometimes. Because how can you get up the courage to tell me? And then the next thing we know, our candies are on our heads and we're wondering how they got there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, child. Okay. Don't get so me that's started. One thing. Now, Here's the other side. This lady we knows the hell she's talking about. We express. Sometimes we talk too much. I'm not suggesting that you hear me, Queen, but we need to dummy down and become airheads and be like, oh my goodness, is this a fork? How do you use it? I'm not saying go there. Okay? But I am in a dominant position. Where I'm being vulnerable, but at the same time, like me being too much, pushing too much, you know, where it's like, whoa, just chill, take take a step back. But it's like, it's hard when I guess you didn't have that that woman mm -hmm. present in your life to show you the ropes. Mm -hmm. and so here's, here's the thing. 29, it's about let's see what it looks like. 29 grams is five bites. Let's see. <laughs> That's eight crackers for um, yeah. Let's do two. Yes, I'm going Keep over. I did not finesse the so, thing. You know, if I'm coming so, off kind of like you know, too hard, I just need you to let me So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have thirty-six grams of the crackers, which you can't see me. I'm gonna have thirty nine thirty six grams of these crackers. Crackers. And that's six points. And this tuna pouch was two. I got the hiccups. So six and two. Oh, I did finesse it because I got one more point left. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I, I don't know why I thought I only had six points left. So I got one more point left. So, yeah. Okay, so I thought I was gonna finesse this thing. I, I did not finesse this. Thing. So I'm having 30, 36 grams of these crackers, which is six points. The tuna pouch is two points, and the avocado. I thought I was in the clear, but I forgot to add the avocado. Which is 90 grams and that's five points. So I am over by four bites. I'm at 39 and a half, 40, 35. So I mean, that's okay because I have weekly and today is Thursday and I just started my week on Tuesday. So I feel like I'm doing good. So yeah. That joy instead of the anxiety or the fear, more a place of appreciation naturally makes me. Check out my Instagram. Um, you can go ahead and DM me and all of that. And I want to thank my co moderators, Marty, who had to take another call. I'm about to and call my girl her. Nicole. And I'm about to DM her. Their title and stop answering with your dick. Ooh. Yeah, I'm interested in. I want to hear that. In on that one. Girl, <laughs> who you telling? <laughs> you and me both. I'm ready to get 
I'm interested in hearing like what some of these guys have to say. And I'm going to be listening. I'm going to be listening. You know, love you. I can't wait to hear what these men have to say, guys. You know, like exactly. Just do it, like literally. I mean, no pun intended, but does are you just a talking head? But you know, and some of them just have a problem with vulnerability. That's, I know the, that's the it. The dude that I've been dealing with so many times, you I want to be vulnerable. Open up and talk to him. Well, I would love for Jesus bless me so with a much. man that like that does not mind being vulnerable. Issues. Yeah, yeah. And then we don't, we don't that talk feels about safe enough to be so one of them. I find it really hard in black men because currently I'm dating like a white guy. They do literally talk, he will cry, and all these good things. And then a black man is so hard for them to even tell me what's going on. So I mean, like, I'm there. I think it's that masculine toxic, uh, toxic masculinity that they go through that they can't you know, get rid of, because that's how they was raised up to be. Hey. And don't cry, don't be vulnerable, you know, don't be a whelp. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so it's like all that. But I never taught my son to, I never, I never to taught my son that. I mean, the thing is Liz. Okay, <laughs> my son would cry his dad would be like oh you being a sissy no he's expressing himself and you're gonna allow him to period he's a child you don't let a child not cry so I am about to wash my face and relax for the rest of the night this is what I do to my hair at night <laughs> So, um, that is a realistic, a realistic and factual what I eat in a day. You guys, that is exactly what I do. Nothing amazing, nothing spectacular, just realness, okay? I didn't eat anything till 2 o'clock, and that's why I did this, because, I don't know, I was just, I think I was so um, busy working. Um, I just didn't, so. Anyway, so I'm going to go wash my face and relax. It's only like 9 o'clock. Well, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. So, um, yeah, you guys, tomorrow's Friday. And I got nothing planned. It's not like anything is going on because of COVID. You guys, comment down below and tell me where you live or like what state you live in. And is your state or county or wherever you live open like, like COVID doesn't exist? Because here in California, the county that I live in, stuff is still closed. Now, I just found out that the gyms are now open inside and restaurants are still open. So, I wonder if that means that the lounges will be open soon so I can go out and dance. But if I have to wear my mask, I ain't going. Honestly, even if my shirt's all wet, even if they were open, I wouldn't be going because, first of all, the COVID is still here. I know that we do have to live, and I really do miss dancing. Not like I went out every weekend, but I miss having the option to go out, you know? Um, but. I just, I'm putting witch hazel on my face. Um, I missed the option to go, to go out and hang out and have a giggle and have a drink and, you know, do all those types of things. But I also don't want COVID and I don't want to be sick. I don't want to get anybody else sick, so I get it. Um, I'm very surprised that the, that they will, that they allowed the gyms 
and they allow the um, restaurants to be open outside. Um, so that's surprising because California is on late freight. Late freight. They are last to do everything. What am I doing? Um, look at something. I want to put a mask on. I need my eyebrows done. <sighs> I want to go get them um threaded, but I don't know if I want the lady all in my face when she threatened my thread my eyebrows because they look absolutely terrible. And I've been trying to keep up with them during the COVID. It ain't. It ain't working. I like them to look a little crisp. And me plucking them ain't working. I can I can um wax my own mustache, okay? But I cannot do my own brows. So yeah. Let's see. I was gonna put a mask on tonight, but I don't feel like it. I'm just lazy. So oh, I don't need this not the one I want. I need to order some more of my um, vitamin C serum because I ran out. But yeah, um, oh, what I'm going to do tonight is this. Hold on. I am going to do the glycolic peel. Where's my scissors at? What I've noticed as, I got, as I've gotten older, I am really, really into skincare. Um, I've always had like, my skin, when I was, when I was younger, I always had bad skin. High school my skin was terrible and even like today I still have breakouts um, my skin used to be really really oily now it's like I guess I can call it combination sometimes dry I don't know what I'm gonna call it um, but I'm really into skincare because I want my skin to be good like I don't know everything it seems like it's just becoming more sensitive that's what I'm trying to say um I've gotten it to a point to where it looks decent but I know as I've gotten older I want my skin to be like I don't know so I have this glycolic spa strength glycolic resurfacing pads to smooth and brighten it is by bliss it comes 15 15 in a um you can see it it comes 15 in a pack okay now you're supposed to use this how many days a week two to three times a week right but the pad is this big okay let me show you the pad is this big and that's a little too much okay so and this thing costs like $25 okay so what a nature does <laughs> I cut it right on in half Okay, cut it right on in half, and I use the other half in a day or two. So I fold it back up, I put it back in there, I fold it, put it back in here. So instead of 15 treatments, I have 30. Smart, right? I put it back in there, and then I use this. So all you do is you just put it on. Now, um, I put it on my neck. Okay. Now, if you have a uh, broken skin, it's gonna burn. It's gonna burn, you guys. So I put it on there, and then once it dries, I move to the next. You know, they say black don't crack, but listen, I've seen cracked black. Okay. So. Take care of your skin. Take care of your skin. I don't know. I'm just realizing I have dark. You know what I'm, I know? This is what I want. I'm not lying. I want my eyebrows to go up to where they were before. Okay? I want them to be there. I want it to be like this again. But I know I'm not going to be getting a, a facelift. You know, just look at your face and like everything's falling down. Falling down. So. Yeah, I put it on here. I'm gonna let it dry. It's pretty much dry at this point. And I put my other serum on. And this one right here is the Ordinary's Medallic Acid. I use this every night. It's so small, I, I can't see. It says apply once per day, ideally in the PM. So it comes in a little dropper. I put about five in there. And then I put it on okay. my neck. Okay. 
then done with that um then i put this on this is the CeraVe PM facial moisturization moisturizing lotion and it says moisturizers throughout the night helps restore protective skin barrier so i put two pumps of that on and uh, rub it in you know what i've noticed as i got it over also now these moles my mom has these moles on her on her face and her side of the family has these moles right i don't know if you can see them they're just getting i'm just having more and more and more they used it was used to be a couple that were like big and you know what i did with them i took a piece of hair okay listen what about that so pretty much i took a piece of curly synthetic hair i got real close to the mirror this is when i could see really good i took it i put it in a in a, in a loop and then I put it around there and I cut it and I typed, I tied it as many times as I could, okay? Cut it as close to it and then in two days it'd be gone. These right here aren't big enough to put it on, but it used to be one like right here that was huge. I was like, oh no, we're not doing that. So long as they stay the, the size they are, I'm cool. I just noticed they're getting, I'm having more and more. So. I'm cool with it as long as they don't start growing out that's what I'm like I have them right here I don't know if this is a skin tag so I had talked to my doctor about this one right because I was like oh I want to go to the the um what's it called what's the people call that work on the skin some people I don't know I can't think right now dermatologist and so he's like oh okay no I can do that <laughs> I'm like what so he schedules me an appointment to come back to get it cut off. So he tells the nurse, oh, schedule her an outpatient uh, uh, something, something. Because because so, I'm going to just take it off with a scalpel. What? I was like, he don't know what he's doing. I, I, did not, I did not show up. I was like, this one going to just stay. But I think this is a skin tag. These are moles. This is a skin tag. So, yeah, I'll leave it. I'm not about to have no scalpels put to me. Can't you just burn it off like with that stuff? Anyway, you guys, I'm just rambling as usual. So, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. If you're new here, thank you for watching. My name's Anitra. Go ahead and subscribe. Like the video, comment if you feel the need to. Also, thank you and welcome to my new subscribers. Yay! Welcome, you guys. Um... And with that being said, I'm going to go to bed. I will talk to you guys later. I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, you guys.